In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the find and filter functions provided by the underscore JS code library. In order to uh, use the underscore JS code library, you either need to include a reference to it, like I've done here to a copy uh, up on a CDN, or you can download a copy of underscore JS to your local project folder and reference it from there. Now, basically, the find and filter functions are basically functions that are used to find a value or to filter a collection of values based upon some type of criteria. So let's come in here and create a list of colors. And we'll say red, and then black, and then yellow, and blue, and orange. Okay, so we're going to come in and we're actually going to have a var item object here and we're going to say underscore dot find, we'll do find first, underscore find, pass in colors, then we're going to pass in a function. Okay, now into this function we are going to have the actual item that we're iterating over and then we're going to apply some type of of uh, find algorithm to see if we can find something that will actually match what our algorithm is looking for. So in this case, I'm going to say string item dot length, and I want to find the first item in the list that has a length greater than five. So I'm going to say return string item dot length greater than five. It's going to return this boolean value. This is also known as a predicate function. And so if this item is, has a length longer than 5, it will return true, and that will actually be the result of the find operation. So we'll say console.log item. We'll save that, reload our page, and we'll see that it finds yellow. So yellow was the first item that it found that actually had a length greater than 5. Now notice, it didn't continue on and find orange it actually stopped after it found the first one. So find always looks for the first item in the collection that makes the predicate true. We can use filter if we want to find all the items in the list that make the predicate true. So we can come in here and actually reload this. And now we'll see that we get yellow and orange because they both have a length of greater than five. Now, of course, if we came in here and changed this, let's say three, we would actually get all of the items except for red. So we get black, yellow, blue, and orange. So as you can see, we have find and filter, and they're really nice functions for being able to go in and actually look for a, a single first occurrence value, or to actually filter a list overall based upon some type of criteria.